Joke's on you. I wrapped up the Star Wars segment so that we could talk more about Cats, the musical. Here we go. Yeah. All right, first of all, take a look at Cats. You have to admit, like, visually, it is stunning. Yeah. The dancing is amazing. The music and star power is there. The star power. Oh, my God. Jennifer Hudson's there. That's all I care about. The cast is They got Idris Elba. Yes, Idris Elba. They got Judy Dench to act like a cat at Cat School, you guys. The cast went to Cat School to pretend that they were cats. Wow. Can you imagine being in that room and seeing Ian McKellen, Judy Dench, Jennifer Hudson, all of them, Taylor Swift, in Cat School to act like cats? All right, now let's come back to the real world. How are you feeling about the movie? (laughs) Honestly, when I first saw the trailer, I I felt like I was going on a bad, like, acid trip. trip. Like, it was very, I was like, what is happening? Right. The faces are super. Yeah. But then again, like Mark said, you can't deny the music. The star, star power, yeah. and it's a classic, guys. Like yeah. Cats is like a like a legend in theaters and Broadway. It's yes. Taylor Swift alone is gonna bring a ton of new eyes to oh, this yeah. whole story. Your energy. You know, Jennifer Hudson's gonna bring me. That's, yeah. that's, all I <laughs> that's exactly what I was Jennifer getting to. Hudson. So let's be honest. You you pay the admission to hear Jennifer Hudson yes. sing "Memories," which yeah. is the famous song, the, the uh, Tony Award-winning song from Cats. <laughs> I sat down with her to talk about that along with Francesca. You might not know Francesca, but she is the world's leading ballerina. Yep. Principal wow. dancer. Do you wow. know how long that takes? And she's so young. She knocks it out of the park dancing in this movie. It's insane. I'm wow. Sure. I'm Take so a look. excited. What's it like going through the process, making this movie, wondering what it's going to look like, knowing that there's so many layers beyond your performance that are going to be added to it, and then getting to see it for the first time? Describe it. Wow, you did right there. Um, Having to trust and use our imaginations, I think, was um, the most, the thing that made it so different and interesting at the same time, you know, because it's like for Grizabella, she had a tail and a coat, you know, but then it's like, okay, now you have to use your imagination and to add everything else that will be added later, you know, or being on a, a, a magnified set and imagining ourselves as cats and becoming that. I think it's the most different project I've ever done. Both of you are incredibly respected in, in your fields, um, but at the same time, the fanboy, fangirl has to come out of you. Wow. Who are you most looking forward to meeting on the set, besides each other? I mean, it's an amazing cast, so again, I was just happy to be in the cast with them or sure. in, in our set chair sitting next to Judy Dench, like, wow, that's Judy. Right. How awesome are they? In fact, producers should probably be thanking Jennifer Hudson. Yeah. They probably didn't realize yeah. at that time. Well, maybe they did. Yeah. What was going to happen? Because there are people like uh, I'll out this guy. You know a guy named Patrick Stoner, who's yeah. a legendary oh, yes. movie critic, yes. Yes. who sat yes. with his arm crossed the entire movie. Hated it. And then all of a sudden that happened. Niagara Falls. Like really? everybody. So what happened? Doesn't people, could hate it. people could hate it and then they just forget all about it and love it. That's like giving birth, right? Isn't that why what? people procreate? They yeah. hate the labor, but then the baby's placed in their arm like Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer singing. Hudson placed in my arm. As the yeah. only person who's given birth. Yeah. As the only person who's oh, given true. birth. Here. I forgot about that. Isn't that's that true? Right? I can relate. Absolutely. See? Oh, okay. all right. Absolutely. All right. I got this. So, I have yeah, a cat. That moment, I, <laughs> I didn't give birth to it, but I have it. And you know, Jennifer Hudson's been through some things. If you know about her oh personal yeah. life, all yeah. of a sudden you got this lady dressed up like a cat, yeah. but yet again a layer of CG, a cat on top of that, Weird. singing memories, and all of a sudden you're empathizing, yeah. you're yeah. falling right yeah. along with her. Oh yeah. yeah. Let's, yeah. let's give it up. Get Oscar, whatever. This was her it's been happy birthday, right. get Oscar, whatever. Uh, and, <laughs> Jennifer <Hudson> does. <laughs> and then you've got Dame Judi Dench. You've got Acting she's like won a cat. pretty much about every award imaginable. <laughs> One of the most respected actresses. Yeah. Dressed up like a cat. I sat down with Laurie and Dame Judi Dench to talk about it. Take a look. You said you've screened it before. You said you've only seen bits and pieces. And, and I think to quote you off camera, you said only when you were naked. <laughs> yes, <laughs> naked cats, you know, without any fur or whiskers or... So I've got quite a thrill coming. <laughs> As a classically trained actress, is it is it kind of wild to be in this scenario where you look around and everyone's wearing these motion capture suits? That's ve- the whole business of, of um, CGI and things is completely new to me. I also did earlier this year Artemis Fowl of course. with Ken Branagh, and that's the same thing. You're surrounded with... You have no idea, really, what the end result is going to be like. And, and you know, it's, a, it's an incredibly exciting thing to look forward to because you, 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 I, in the Artemis file, I had no idea, you know. Sure. There's going to be boiling sea and 
cost of thousands. <laughs> and in this case, you, instead of these <laughs> relatively naked looking bodies, they're going to be people that all, are... All in coats and fur. <laughs> coats and fur everywhere. <laughs> is her voice not like butter? Oh it is. In everything she, she can does. Do any yeah. role in It I'm is extra now. buttery, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys? Wacka, wacka, wacka. Uh, yeah, what else stands about this movie? Uh, uh, Jason Derulo. Jordan Sparks X is in. Oh, yeah. Jordan Sparks X, Jason Derulo is in this movie. Derulo. Jason Derulo. Jason yeah. Derulo. You have to see it. He doesn't quite sound like that, but it was close. Yeah, how does he sound, Sparky? <laughs> <laughs> uh, watch James Corden right. carpool karaoke, and he does a great one. Yeah. Or how about when I ask him to sing his name? Oh, did you? I did. <gasps> and I know Show us. You want to know how that went down? Oh, jeez. Take a look. I have to tell you a story, and this has happened since the last time I saw you. The first time I interviewed you, you were huh. making your rounds for the radio. I told my music director at the time that your song, what you say, was going to be number one. We made a bet on it, and if he, if it went number one and stayed number one, he uh -huh. had to have you singing your name as his ringtone for the rest of his life anytime I call him. <laughs> so I know anytime I call Chad Roofer, he hears Jason Derulo. Oh, that's incredible, bro. What? That's, I like that. Uh, so you bet on me, bro. I like that. I bet on you. <laughs> and I bet on you in this movie, too, and you do not fail. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. We're about to begin. I love it. To reiterate what I said oh. before, visually stunning. And there are some things that aren't in the traditional Broadway musical, like for instance, the funny stuff when James Corden shows up, yeah. Yeah. very funny. And then of course, Rebel Wilson. Oh. We got oh the comedic God. relief stack, yo. We yeah. got the comedic relief stack. They called in the big gun. Yes, they, they the really gun. did. James Corden did a fantastic job. I think he's funny all the time. Yeah. yeah. And then Rebel Wilson is it's always classic. on. That's always right. incredible. Two always. people that just by talking, they're funny. They're like, funny. they don't exactly. even need to crack a joke. Yeah. No. They're just, they're so witty and so on it. Everything the, they the say. The party is starts when they walk in. I sat down with the famous Broadway co star Robert Fairchild and Rebel to talk about it. And I may have made a faux pas. I'll ask you guys, just watch. Oh, I'll ask you after we go again. A faux pas. Oh, oh, that's 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 Take a look. You gotta, <laughs> Now you're gonna hear about it. Not only is it updated, but each and every one of you gets to bring a little bit of you, a lot of you, to the picture. For instance, there's a lot of Rebel Wilson in this performance <laughs> that you do. Are you talking about the crotch shots? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to go? Well, yeah, there's that. No, and. you're talking about. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Cats is not known for its comedy. So uh, myself, and I think particularly James Corden, sure. we tried to put a lot of our personalities in to try to, um, you know, create some comedy because this is a fun family movie and, um, and, and it's different in that, in that regards to the stage show and um, there's no dialogue jokes like in the stage show. Right. So we, we added some. <laughs> All right, so do you think she was offended or thought that I was saying something that I wasn't really, I, I was mean, not talking about yeah. her crotch. No, 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 no. Prove no. it, prove it. Prove it. <laughs> I can't prove that. You can't, exactly. You can't case jump, closed. Jump inside case my head. closed. But Your Honor, none ladies of us, and gentlemen of the yeah, jury, none of us are talking about I mean, about I see Wilson's how crash. it could have been taken that way, but I, I also see where Mark was coming from. Right. It's it was one of those just awkward well, little situations. Well, you because guys, she brought it up. Plethora. Yeah. Well, well, Jason Derulo brought it up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's yeah, right. So. Because he said everyone's like yeah. naked anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You look around and you're practically naked with a room full of a lot yeah. of famous people. And you're sniffing each other's butts. <laughs> yes, it's, it's real. You know, there are a lot of people that are probably trolling out there that would like to see Taylor Swift in that way. Well, guess what? You can. Yep, yep she is a cat. Dude, in her real life, she's all about the cats. So this That's role true. was made perfect. for her. Perfect. 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 And she perfect. wrote that song. Per she wrote it again. A lot. She wrote perfect. 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 Yeah. She we wrote that song for Francesca. I know. And performed it for her. We went behind the scenes to talk to her. Take a look. Cat School is so unique. Um, Sarah does cat school and she's incredible. Basically, we go in and study the movements of a cat. It's it's really exciting and fun to learn about, you know, how they how they hold their posture, how they sense things, um, kind of just the anatomy of a cat that can make it more conducive to how a human can inhibit that kind of spirit. And it's just so fun. I mean. Cat school. If you told me I was going to get to go to cat school every day for work. So you got Taylor Swift in it yeah. too. So I think yeah, there might I mean, be some people yeah. that are going to see this movie that have no idea what cats is about. No, and they are in for a treat. Yes. A cat treat. <laughs> <laughs> Did she write a love song about you, Mark? No, nothing like that happened. Aww. We like get to together. Whiskers? You got to get together. <laughs> you got to break up before Taylor Swift will write about you. I'll say this. <laughs> Someone's gonna make you go see this movie, appease them and go see it. You're gonna cry when Jennifer Hudson yeah. sings, yeah. right? Give me somebody you Amen. love. Go see right. it. Yeah.
if you don't know what's up with all these singing cats and you've seen the trailer, when you walk out of it, you're still going to be saying, what's what up with all these singing cats?